हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अमित पांडे एंड टुडे इन द क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द बेस्ट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ क्यू वन क्यू टू ओके गाइज सो अगर दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ केसलेट यू यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ यू रीड द क्वेश्चन यू विल थिंक अबाउट दिस दैट द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ गिव्स द आंसर आफ्टर रीडिंग सो लेट सी दैट दिस इज क्यू वन दिस इज क्यू टू क्यू टू इज डैम इजी वी हैव नॉट टू कैलकुलेट एनी थिंग बट इन केस ऑफ क्यू वन लेट्स रीड इट एस ऐप लेट्स रीड इट एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल राइट देर आर टू बॉक्सेज एस एंड डी हैज थ्री डिफरेंट कल्स ऑफ बॉल्स रेड ब्लू एंड पिंक द नंबर पिंक बॉल इज इन एस टू टी इज ट्वेंटी टू इलेवन दैट इज द पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड एंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ब्लू बॉल्स इन टी इज टेन मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ रेड बॉल्स इन एस बट वी विल नॉट गेट एनीथिंग फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट अलोन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पिंक बॉल इन एस एंड टी टूगेदर इज सिक्सटी टू नाउ यू रेड दिस यू रेड दिस दैट इट रिंग बेल इन द माइंड यू डिसेंड दैट means you get a kick from this statement and this statement together right total number of balls in s is 80 which is 20 more than the number of balls in t it means when you combine when we combine these two statements we definitely get the balls in both the boxes and total number of balls in s is 80 which is 20 more than number of balls in t it means we can get the balls if the ratio of the number of red to blue balls is 7 is to 12 let's find out this okay so uh, let me write here s let me write here t and 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 uh, i'll just use this statement total number of ball in s is 80 so that is total total is 80 okay which is 20 more than the number of balls in t so in t total will be 60 okay 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 good now let's talk about pink balls so this is pink this is pink now the pink ratio is 20 is to 11 this is 31 31 means 62 now you read this two these two combine them after combining you get that is 31 means 62 1 means 2 20 means 40 11 means 22 so in s that is 40 you understand and in t that is 22 okay no problem now they are saying the total number of balls in uh, okay 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 and okay Uh, if the ratio of the number of red to blue in t is 7 is to 12 in t okay that t 60 there are only three different colors of balls it means red blue and pink it means here should be red here should be blue should be red should be blue now let's change the color of the pen and try to make it a more particular right now this is red this is blue and the ratio red to blue 7 is to 12 Okay, the total is 60. This is 22. So then, then should be 38, because you subtract 60 minus 22. That is 38, and the ratio of red to blue in T is 7 is to 12. It means this is 19. The value of 19 should be 38. 19 means 38. 1 means 2. As I used to uh, tell you, go the goal gappa concept. From that you can say that. Otherwise, you can just say by the unitary method that 19 means 38. 1 means 2. 7 means 14. 12 means 24. 19 means 38. 1 means 2. 7 means 14. 2, 12 means 24. Now say with with me. 19 means 38. 1 means 2. 7 means 14. 12 means 24. You got that? Okay. Now, total number of blue balls in T is 10 more than the number of red ball in S. It means red ball in S that will be total number of blue balls in T that is 24 is 10 more than the number of red ball in S. So that is 14. Now, what is the number of blue balls? So I think uh, 54, uh, 26. Yes, that is 26. So you you got the blue balls in S, that is 26, and you got Q1. They are asking for Q1, and that is Q1. That is your 26. Now that is Q2. That is 24. So obviously that is Q1 greater than Q2. So the answer will be option A. So you have to be careful while solving the question. Reading is the ultimate key. After reading the reading the statements, try to break out the things for your comfort. And it is the game of like uh, three four days when you start loving reading the arithmetic, guys. And if you if you if you like uh, if you think that this session session is good. and you like session in english so tell me i'll I, i'll make more sessions and like and share the session also guys so thanks for watching take care everyone bye thank you bye